I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance for the whirring sound you're gonna hear in the background. That is a server that I'm currently working on. I apologize because the fans are loud. Anyway, so you're here because you have a 2010 or whatever model Mazda 3 or whatever other model Mazda this might apply for. Your auxiliary port isn't working. Um, typically, what it is is there are two pins that have to be set to each other. So, to make this short, make it simple, make it easy, you're going to ground pin two and pin six together. Once you loop those together, um, it will allow you to click your auxiliary port and not have to uh, rely on those two pins touching inside of this. Mazda's genius design puts this pin and this pin, it, that this is just a theory, otherwise I would just put a bridge these. Uh, I don't have a multimeter to test it, but in theory you could bridge that pin and that pin right there and it would do the same thing. I'm not 100% sure, again, I don't have a multimeter to test it, but this worked. Uh, so if you're having this issue, this is all you have to do and that should get you fixed. Short, sweet, simple, that's how I like to keep it on this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button if this helped you out uh, and if it didn't, uh, leave a comment down below and let's try and figure out what's going on. Have a good one.